thrill of unrivaled performance. Our team of experts takes your ride to the next level. From horsepower gains to custom enhancements, we deliver results. Late model racecraft, we talking or we racing? Welcome back to the channel, guys. Behind me, Dawn's 2022 ZL1 shipped all the way to us from Washington. Uh, Washington does not have the best fuel. Uh, 91 octane is all he can get. So what we recommended was our 800 horsepower package, which you see standing behind us with the addition of a billet lid, as well as a Corsa catback exhaust for sound. Um, Don does plan on having this thing as a weekend toy. Uh, so we kept the stock tires on it for now, but I have a feeling when I go test drive it, I'll be able to let him know uh, whether it will need maybe a toy or something like that on it, because this thing, even on 91 octane and high flow cats we have it detuned pretty good just because we got to keep it safe for 91 octane i have a feeling the torque numbers it made is still going to spin the hell of these michelins but we'll get to that in a second right now let's go into the hood and i'll show you so as y'all can see guys black i want to start off by saying don black is hard to keep clean and we had this thing uh, washed yesterday and it looks absolutely phenomenal. The car has only 4,500 miles on it, but it looks, it's in mint condition. The black, again, is very hard to keep clean. But going under the hood, that's all we really care about here. Um, 800 horsepower package, again, guys, American Racing headers, stainless steel headers. We have our ATI lower balancer to spin the stock supercharger harder. Uh, what you cannot see is our custom grind cam kit, cam springs, retainers, and push rods. For looks, when you pop that hood, we want to see have the nice billet supercharger lid. Um, so when he goes to car shows, everyone knows he's got something done to it. And as always, uh, the Big Gulp Rotofab Cold Air. And again, guys, this is a good starting point for any LT4 owner out there that's looking to mod his vehicle to have it sound good with the chop at idle and still drive like a factory vehicle. Um, with the 10-speed automatic in it, you can leave it and drive, enjoy it, or put it in manual mode and floor it and roll race the hell of this car and have a blast. Um, again, it is on factory wheels and tires all the way around for now. I think he wanted to get it home, drive it himself to see what he thinks it feels like before he decides to upgrade to maybe a Toyo or even a drag row or something like that. Um, going to the back, Corsa catback. I always recommend to customers we keep stock mufflers on them. Uh, those are for customers that drive the cars a lot. Um, that way you get the best of both worlds. You can make it quiet or loud when you want to. Um, but Don is a weekend toy. He wanted it loud all the time. And in my opinion, the course is the best sounding exhaust. This thing at wide open throttle sounds incredible, but also when you're on the highway cruising, it's, there's no big drone inside the car like some of the boreless systems and some of the other systems out there. Um, they have more of a deeper tone. They have that drone inside the car that for me on long road trips, I don't like, um, but the Corsa, for these cars, in my opinion, is the best sounding exhaust system out there when you made it with our American Racing headers and our connection pipes with the high flow cats. Um, walking around this side, something I, man, I probably haven't shared with y'all much. If y'all ever see wires like this hanging out from underneath our cars uh, while we're testing them, just know that we're doing this on purpose. Don't say, oh man, we forgot something. What it is, is it's a wide band uh, that goes inside the car, right? And it also, it'll plug directly into my HP tuners so I can measure air fuel ratio while testing the vehicle. Um, these cars do not have wide bands from the factory like the C8s do. Um, so they are narrow bands. So when I'm test driving vehicles, yes, we have a hub dyno now to tune them and they are pretty much 99% done once it leaves the hub dyno. But just for extra safety, I always test drive vehicles with wide bands in them just because if I'm doing even zero to 100 or 60 to 130s, I like to make sure that the air fuel is exactly what I want it to be to simulate what it was on the dyno versus the street. But now we're about to go on the street and see what this thing can do.
So I'm out for a test drive, September here. Um, it's been raining a lot lately. The sun's finally shining, but it's back to very hot temperatures. So uh, we are on the Michelin's factory tires. I'm gonna test uh, the shift points in manual mode uh, because he does plan on doing uh, you know some 50 to 110s um, in this thing to enjoy it. I wanna make sure the shift points are on point and obviously I need to make sure the tune-up is safe for 91 octane. Um, I can't stress that enough, guys. Octane in these cars makes a huge difference when it comes to power and tuning it. You have to make them really safe for 91. They, it, these things are really prone to detonate on, uh, on any car's prone to detonate on any engine uh, with bad gas in it, and I call 91 octane bad gas. Um, it just, it depends on where you live. You know, a lot of our customers in California, uh, can, 91's all they can get. So that's when we recommend if they have E85 where they're at, um, if we can do an E85, like a flex fuel conversion as well, that way they can run 91 when they want or E85 uh, to pick up power. Uh, but some customers just, they can't get their hands on it. Where they live, there is no E85 available. So again, for this case, he still has 110 rural horsepower overstock. It sounds tremendous, it looks good. Uh, to be honest, I think Don's gonna absolutely love this thing. And if he wants more horsepower later, then obviously he can send it back for that. And then, but then we would have to uh, either add a fuel additive to it all the time or some race gas or something like that. Because on 91 octane, uh, we can only make so much safely. But we can still uh, get more out of it um, in the future if he wants to. But right now on the factory Michelins, I'm gonna do a second gear pull. Just so I can check all the shift points in this thing, the two to three and the three to four, and maybe in the four to five. even spinning I'll get an idea uh, it's better to have it hooked up to see exactly when the shift point will occur um, because this shifts off of rpm and mile per hour when we have it in manual mode um, but damn that thing that felt really good again everyone talks about these big high dyno numbers and what they want uh, most customers when they get these cars back everyone wants like I said thousand horsepower stuff to do what I just did right there, your average customer, it is fun as hell. You have your hands full, and again, you put a tire on it, it will just throw you back in the seat instead of spinning so hard in the lower gears like that. But I'm gonna pull over now and let me check out this log and we will go from there. Testing out a car, man. Because <laughs> I see you test them out all the time. Damn. You sound good? Dude. <laughs> I, 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 I watch you all the time. Oh, badass. I'm so proud of what you came from. from man, thank back you. Back in the day to where you are now. Man, I appreciate it. New shop and I, I've been doing it a long time. Yeah, so did you ever used to go like to Britmore? Oh, yeah. Britmore, Pinemont, Rankin. I mean, that's, where I, that's where I lived. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's where I lived on the weekends yeah, and, and weekdays. Better. It was so different back then. Yes, yeah, are you from around here? Oh uh, yeah, went to Spring Branch. Badass. I my whole, yeah, yeah, dude, we, in the 80s, we... Did you go to, uh, you had a Rankin Road back in the day? Yeah, and Brentmore too, every yep. Friday, and Saturday. It was, it was a different race than it is it, now. It's not the same. It's a bunch of punks. And yeah. They, they want to do that dumb shit, drifting and do burnouts and no, stuff. No, it, it just, it, I remember back in Brentmore, we never had problems like that. No, no, all we did is we showed up, Everyone was quiet, everyone was good. We put our money up and we raced and that was it. It was good. I, I, that's, I, I, that's so cool to meet you. Did you hear, did you see me make a pull yeah, right there? No, I, I said, it's gotta be him. <laughs> on, and then I saw you, I was like, it's him. It's this, him. One, uh, this one's being shipped to Washington. This is our 800 horsepower package. That's bad. To 22ZL1. When's the new shop gonna be done? Uh, I'll just say 2025, sometime next year. Okay. I don't wanna give a day. Every time no, something comes good. up, something keeps coming up. 
congratulations with what you're doing. Thank you very much. Come, come by the shop anytime. Oh, we go by a couple times. Stop it. Stop in. Check it out, man. Stop in. I'll show you some cars. For all the haters. What was your first name? Brad Long. Brad. Man. Thank yes, you. Sir. Yeah, I learned to ignore the haters a long time ago. It's just jealous. When you're on, yeah, when you're on top or doing something Running good. Yeah. Yep, someone's always out yeah. to talk shit. So I don't, I don't even get on. So I don't even get on social media or even That's, keep up with it. That, 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 that just, man. <laughs> There's nothing better than a raw man. <laughs> Badass. It is. It is fucking awesome. Dude, you just made my whole week. <laughs> Badass. So much, brother. Yes, sir. Stop by anytime. Okay, yes, sir. Enjoy your day. Are you there all the uh, Yeah, I'm there all the time. I'm Monday Monday through Friday, usually 9 to 5. Sorry if I interrupt your film. Oh, no, you're good. Okay. You're good. <laughs> you're good, man. Have a good day. Yes, sir. That's awesome. I was making a pull in, uh, I guess... He watches our channel and he's uh, from Houston, so obviously I grew up here, street raced a lot, so a lot of people know who I am. Um, he was just so excited to see the car. That's very cool. Very cool. Don, you can tell he loved the car. He loved your car, bud. So, um, I'm sitting here looking at a log, uh, second gear pull. As I said, it spun its ass off, so it pulled a whole bunch of timing um, through second. Uh, made the two to three shift right where I wanted three to four four to five and then five to six and again guys I have timing in it is super safe for 91 octane air fuel is actually on the money it's actually a little bit on the rich side we can pull a little bit of fuel if we need to um, but all in all this car is pretty great so I'm gonna save this I may make one or two changes and uh, I'll make a few more little quick bursts heading back to the shop to give you all some more action shots. But as far as I'm concerned, this thing is uh, done and ready to go back so we can get it cleaned up and uh, have transport scheduled to come pick this thing up and send it back to Washington. But yeah, let me finish doing this and I'll, uh, I'll hit record again on the way back to get a few more little action shots of this thing. Yeah, he definitely heard it with the Corsa exhaust on this thing. This thing's loud. That's cool. I love it. seeing other people get enjoyment out of even, this isn't even his vehicle, and he was so stoked just to see it and hear it in person. Uh, that's cool as shit. And if uh, you're watching this, uh, you just pulled up and talked to me. Again, feel free to come by the shop anytime. I will show you all the cool builds we have in uh, progress. And uh, yeah. We try to keep our shop closed for most part to keep uh, the technicians busy. We don't like people walking around the shop uh, for hazard reasons, of course, and safety reasons. Um, but again, if uh, any of y'all are in the area, feel free to stop by anytime, and I will gladly, uh, myself, one of our sales staff, uh, can walk you through the shop to show you our current builds. We always have a bunch of cool shit going on. Plenty, plenty to see. So like I said, guys, the tune-up looked good. Um, again, it's nice and safe for 91 octane with the high flow cats on it. Uh, the shift points were good. It was a little bit on the rich side, so you can pull a little bit of fuel out of it. And uh, I'll probably make one or two more quick little bursts. Uh, give y'all a little bit more action shots uh, before we get back to the shop. Going 42 miles an hour. I can just downshift. Third gear. I'm at least at, let's say, 3,500 RPMs. And then just roll into it. enough torque on this factory tire uh, it's not worth it just leave traction control on it'll keep you in your lane I mean you'll feel it you'll see me turn on the wheel a little bit but you definitely don't feel like you're out of control now if I turn traction control off I can make it so we're out of control but again especially customer vehicles it's uh, no point in risking anything like that for customers is their car that's what they want to do they want to go sideways or uh, make S type of burnouts leaving stoplights, I will let them do that because this car will definitely do that if you turn the traction control off. But just, uh, you know what? Because I always show you all in manual mode. So in drive, for instance, right now, I'm only going like 30 miles an hour, 35 in six gear. Watch when I go to floor, watch it downshift and go. 
the, the time it takes for it to downshift. Now it's gone. Yes, and you can see how that time it, it wants to kick out even more when it does that because it downshifts to the next gear and then just hits it. And that thing, it spun its ass off. So that thing downshifted probably into second gear, which I can pull over and check the log, and then shifts through the gears just the same way. So again, whether you put it in manual mode or drive, someone pulls up next to you, you can just stab it and have fun. Um, but again, yeah, I guess that's it for uh, Don's beautiful ZL1. Like I said, we'll get it cleaned up uh, and have transport come pick it up and send it back to Washington. Don, enjoy your newfound horsepower and uh it sounds fucking incredible <laughs> the corsa again guys in my opinion if it's a weekend toy and you're okay with it being a little bit louder corsa is the way to go for someone that drives the car a lot um or maybe you're on long road distances or like long road trips uh, that's why i like keeping the stock mufflers on so you can keep it quiet or loud but for this it's hard to beat this exhaust note but i'll shut up uh as always guys comment below let me know what y'all think about this video and uh also i really want to hear what y'all would want to see in future videos depending on what the car is we're building please comment below if you want to see more build um i don't know more uh in depth of why we install the parts we do or how we install the parts we do uh please comment below or if you again if you just want to see more action shots if you want me to take these cars um to a road course or drag strips more often like i said once winter time comes <laughs> Uh, here in Texas, we got another month or two. We'll probably start going to drag strip a lot more often. But I want to hear what you guys have to say on what y'all want to see more content of. Because a lot of people like to see the builds um, and sometimes more in depth of what we're doing and why we're doing it and how we're doing it. Um, we don't want to show all of our secrets and on stuff we do, but I don't mind sharing a lot of it with y'all. So comment below, guys. Until next time. Thanks for watching this video guys. If you're new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button. Give it a like if you liked it so far. And please turn on bell notifications for future content as we have cool stuff in the pipeline that you're gonna wanna see. And as always, please comment below.